Hey guys, this is Emmerich from Emmerich's Time Lapse, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do how to create an amazing time slice time lapse video using Premiere Pro. And if you go on Matt Joe's YouTube channel, Matt Joe's is a time lapse photographer from Belgium living in Sydney, Australia. If you actually go on his YouTube channel, you can find this tutorial with After Effects. So the link is in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. In the meantime, let's go on Premiere Pro. All right, guys, we are on Premiere Pro right now, and I'm gonna show you how to do a time slice, time lapse video. It's amazing. So to do so, it's the best to use a day to night or a night to day time lapse, obviously. And also a time lapse where you don't have any clouds, because what we're gonna do is like we're gonna reverse the speed and the, we're gonna reverse the, the direction of the clip. So sometimes if you have clouds, it can be a little bit disturbing to have like you can see the, the speed changing. But if you don't have any clouds in the sky, you'll be able to see more of the colors um, available during the, the, the day to night. And that's exactly what we are actually trying to do with the layers, with the different layers. So I'm gonna select one of my clip right there. This one, the San Diego skyline sunrise, and I'm gonna import it in Premiere. So you can see it's a really nice sunrise. There's a lot of colors. Um, I started the clip at night a little bit so you can see the, the city lights a little bit and if you go towards the sunrise you can see it's going to red, white, there's a lot of colors and then when the sun shows up it's very orange and kind of like yellow white at the end and this is actually a perfect time lapse for a time slice because there's a lot of colors. Doing the time slice is going to show us how all the different layers of colors and it's going to be amazing. So we're going to create a new sequence real quick, file, new sequence. We're just going to do like, uh, this is 20 times an HD, HD one, and we're going to call it, oh, there's my audio here, time slice. Okay. All right. So I'm going to import my clip. Okay. Here, because it's a 4K clip, I'm just going to do right click and set or scale to frame size. Okay. So I have my clip here. It's about 30 seconds. 29 seconds to be hot, to be to be precise. Okay, so now that I have my clip on my timeline, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate it. So if you hit option on your keyboard and duplicate on the top, you can see it's actually copying your file. So I'm gonna zoom in. Now we have we have to move our second clip, the, the top one, we have to move it to the right. Uh, okay, what's going on? Okay, okay. We have to move it to the right for a few frames because this is how you're gonna create the different layers. You need to be able to um, see a different period of time on one image. So it depends on how long your clip is. Usually what I find work pretty well is for about a 30 seconds clip, having to move it maybe 25 frame uh, to the right. It actually depends on your interval as well. But here, I think it was four seconds. So I'm gonna move my, my, my top clip to 25 frame to the right. Okay, there you go. So now I have two clips. One is 25 seconds ahead and the other one is the normal clip. So for the top one, I'm gonna go in effect and select the crop effect here. I'm gonna double click, go back to effect controls. And what you wanna do is keep only one layer for the top one. So I want the light to start, I want the, the time slice to go from left to right. So what I'm gonna do is crop to 5%, okay? Now you can see, you can see it started to happen. So what's going on here? It's like, you can see I cropped my top clip to 5%, but because I, I moved it back to um, 25 frame, it looks a little different. So you can see already the top clip here is like the, the, the right part of my image. So what I'm gonna do now is like, what I'm gonna keep doing, I'm gonna keep, you know, going and, and, and cre create all the layers. So I like to select 5% because I feel like 5% gonna give you 20 layers, 20 times five, 100%. So 5% is kind of nice. If you wanna do like less, you can do like a 2% if you want, but 2% means you're gonna need 50 layers, which is gonna be a lot of work. But I feel like 5% with 20 layers is actually the best. So we're gonna keep going, move it, this one to the top, and then move it to, to the right, 25 frames. Up, 25 frames, okay. And then now you need to double this. You need to go to 10%. So 
See, now you can start seeing the layers that appears. So if I remove those two one, you can see like the top one is cropped 10%. The one under is cropped 5%. And the one at the bottom is the one on the left is not cropped at all. So you can understand how I start. Oh, it works actually. It's very easy. Now you keep doing this and then create a new layers, move it 25% and add a 5% crop here. Okay. All right. Until you got 20 layers. So we're going to do this up. We have 20%. And see how it is it? It's very easy. Up 25%. So the number of frame you choose between each clip is gonna depend on a lot of things. Yeah, like I said earlier, the interval, um, it could be the length of your clip as well. Try to find something where in one image, like here, you can see different layers of colors. Um, because if you don't move it enough, the, the colors no, are not going to change. It's going to be very similar. But if you do it too much, it's not going to look good as well. So try to find a balance. Uh, try to find something that works for the, the interval that you choose and also the length of your clip. Okay, so here we have 45% and 50%. So here you can see I have half of my screen filled with new layers. All right. So we're gonna keep going. We have 10 more, 10 more to create. Okay, there you go. We have our 20 layers, V20, you can see video 20. So we have 20 layers because it's 5%. So again, 100% divided by 20 is 5%. That's why we have 20 layers. Anyway, this is how it looks. So you can see you have a good time slice. It's going from left to right. So you're gonna see there is a problem because we move the clips to the right. If you click over there, you can see that part of the image is gonna be black or not black, but it's gonna be only the, the bottom clip. The, the first layer we have the V1 here. So you can see that the layers are not completely filling the screen. So what we're gonna do is very simple. We're gonna select all of them. I'm gonna move them here. We're gonna do command C and command V. We're gonna copy those 20 layers. Then we're gonna do right click and then speed duration, or you can do command R on your keyboard. We're gonna reverse the speed and click okay. Now we're gonna move all of them back at the, at the top right there uh, on the right. So now what's gonna happen is like, as soon as, for example, the first clip here, when it goes all the way to the day, because you know, this is the, the first clip. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, just some like weird, it's a lot of layers, so it can be a little, uh, it, can, it can be like lag a little bit. So see the first clip, as soon as it goes to the end of it, it's gonna go backward and go back to the night time. And this is gonna do exactly the same thing for all of the clips. So it can actually make everything longer. Okay. See, we can see, you can come, you can see it actually coming back to the night time. So what we're going to do as well is we're going to copy the reverse clip at the beginning. So I'm going to copy this here. Okay. We're going to do speed duration and reverse speed. Okay. And we're going to do the same. We're going to put them at the right there. Okay. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is like do the same, but we want the clip to be uh, in the normal, going to the normal direction, normal speed, because we have here normal speed, reverse, and we need to go back to normal speed as well. So this is what I'm gonna do. They are actually all normal speed technically here. Yeah, they're not reverse. And then what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take the, so the, la the, first, the end of the first clip, which is right there, and I'm gonna cut all of them. So I'm gonna do there. And if you hit, uh, is it, yeah, shift on your keyboard, you can cut all the uh, layers at the same time. Then I'm gonna select this and cut there, okay? Now I'm going to do the same at the beginning. I'm going to copy up and then the first clip starts right there. So shift and hand. All right. Now you can see I'm going to do like one fourth because this is a lot of layers and for a 4k clip. Uh, I mean, I have a good laptop, a good, good computer, but still. So see, it's going to be, it's going to start right there. So you'll be able to go from day to day to night today, tonight. So obviously it's a little long. 
It's uh, right now it's two minutes and 12 seconds. It's way too long. So what you're gonna do is like command M, you're gonna export everything you have right here. We're gonna export in H.264 on the desktop. We don't need the audio. Uh, here we can just put the maximum bit rate, maximum render quality and export it. Okay, so I exported the file and we have it here on the desktop. So I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it in Premiere Pro. So see, now we have only one file. We don't have 20 layers, which can be big and it might be easier for Premiere Pro to read the file. So obviously it's normal speed, so it's kind of fast. So what you can do now, it's just the same thing. Right click, speed duration, and maybe just speed that up. See, we have a two minute clip, which is way too much, but let's do like a, maybe a 20 seconds clip. And let's see how it looks. We're gonna do a render. And this is how it looks. It looks awesome. I think it looks pretty great. You can see from day to night, today and if you stop right there for example you can see you can really see the different layers of colors and we use only 25 frames difference uh, between each clip so if you use a bigger interval like maybe one or two seconds the layer is going to look like the layer is going to be look way different it's going to be like a bigger gap between each layer which is going to be different but again it's a style it's whatever you want it's uh, what do you think look best with the clip you have, the, the interval you choose, and uh, the length of your clip. Um, so for a 30 seconds time lapse, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks cool. And I think I like when you know, when you see the nights over there, like layers of laps coming, going in and out. I think it looks pretty good. It might actually be a little too slow again. Let's try maybe like a 10 seconds one. Let's see how it would look like with 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds looks pretty good. I love it. Goes back to day, to night, to day. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. And if you want, you can even just uh, duplicate this clip, do command or change the speed again. So when it goes back, when it goes actually, when you reach the end, all the layers are gonna go to the other direction. Poof, and it goes back to the it goes from right to left now. So this was a sunrise, but I also did it with a sunset that you can see here, a couple of sunsets. And I think it looks pretty sweet. I think it's a, it's a great way to, you know, show the time lapse, your time lapse to the world. It's not just a day to night, it's a very simple way. So it took me a little bit more time here to teach you today and show you how it works. But um, if you know how to do it with a proper sunrise or sunset, it's actually gonna take you what, maybe five minutes to do it and then maybe half an hour, 45 minutes to export. But you know, in a few minutes, you can have a nice uh, time slice, time lapse like this one. And it's a great way to show your work to the, to the world. It's a great way to, you know, I think it's very artistic, you know, time lapse or artistics already, but you know, if you find an original way to actually share it with the world, I think it's, it's amazing. All right, this is it guys. If you have any question about how to create time slice, time lapse video, well, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like time-lapse and hyperlapse videos. And I see you in the next one next Friday. Bye.